Hey there, welcome to Spirit of a Handyman. Today we're going to talk about what exactly is knob and tube wire. He's got the spirit of a handyman. A handyman. Alright, so before you do knob and tube, I didn't think it was all that necessary to wear any kind of eye protection, but I was wrong. So here we got a ski mask. I was going to wear this, but uh, turns out when ski masks get like 10 years old, they start to just lose the, the foam. So instead I'm going to be cool like this guy. He says, hey, if you wear these safety glasses, you can be cool like me. Well, thanks, mustache man. I'm going to be cool like you. Me and my, me and my pal. So a question I read on a lot of forms is, is knob and tube wiring dangerous? Well, the answer is if you're not wearing safety glasses, yes, yes it is. Because maybe you'll be up here prying away at one of these little tube guys or knobs with a, well, a pry bar, for instance. And maybe part of it will splinter off and shatter and hit you in the cornea, in which case you have to go to the ER and spend your Sunday morning playing guitar blind. Who knows? Maybe that could happen to you. <laughs> Maybe. But otherwise, no, it's, it's really not that dangerous. So you've got these tubes, these ceramic tubes, and they hold the, tie, the wires inside of them, hence knob and tube. Uh, you can see the knobs right here. Um, so that's where the name comes from. The wires themselves are not uh, a problem until you start moving with it and messing with it. So you can see like the, the insulation around it as it bends, whereas normal wiring would just bend nice and easy. As this stuff bends, the casing and insulation around it cracks, exposing the wire. So as this uh, heats up, if something were to touch that, that becomes hazardous. If you move it too much, um, if I were to move this back and forth, uh, first of all, the casing's just gonna get even worse. But ultimately, well, okay, actually it's, the wire itself is, is fine. No, it's totally safe, but you can see the, uh, the casing around it just deteriorates and crumbles. So that's the danger of knob and tube wiring. It's just that it's old wiring and the insulation um, kind of chars, and if this were a live wire, I would be getting shocked. So that would be bad. So if you have knob and tube wiring that you want to remove, uh, you don't have to remove it. If you just disconnect it, it could stay here. But I'm going to um, open up this, and I want it to look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. So what I've done is I've clipped it. Um, obviously with the power off, I clipped it. Uh, but now at this point, this wire is all dead. So you just take the these guys, the tubes, and they'll just push through. To the other side pretty easy um, and then just pull the cable down from this side Poke. Oh, they break they do shatter uh, found that one out the hard way but uh, so a pretty easy process to uh, pull those pull those off here's a great for instance as to why it's called knob and tube here we've got the tube portion. Just pull that wire out. Here we've got the other one. Um, and then that's going to go through to this next beam. Um, and then it goes to this knob. So the tube comes out, comes down to this knob, which it basically is just this porcelain thing to keep it off uh, by about two inches, keeps it off of this stud as that runs along. Um, see it connects with another knob and then that went to our lighting fixture here in the middle of the kitchen. So we have our hot and our uh, neutral. Um, so the, the tubes were just a way designed to keep that a couple inches off of the wood so that the wood doesn't heat up um, and burn down your house. So here's my dear little souvenir. This is the piece. As I was prying it away from the wall, the crowbar caught hold of that. And it just, you can see it splintered and uh, just saw a big chip flying at my eye. 
hit me in the eye and um, caused a cut. So that's not a good, not a good feeling. You want to avoid that. So there you go, knob and tube wiring. Now you know what I know, and I know what uh, Google will tell me. So there we go. Per together, we're pretty much geniuses on this whole knob and tube thing. Uh, thanks for watching Spirit of a Handyman. Stay tuned for more great tips on how to rehab or renovate your home. I'd just like to have a brief word with all the marketing peoples of the world. If, if you're trying to sell a product, don't put, don't put this weird comb over mustache guy on your product. Like, what, where's all the underwear models? You know, where are they when it comes to marketing safety glasses? If, if we just put a, a couple of sexy pictures on here with the people wearing sunglasses, safety glasses, you're gonna sell a lot more product versus this guy. I mean, this instantly you pick this up and you go, well, I don't wanna be like this guy. Uh, so you don't, you don't buy the glasses and you don't put them on because you don't wanna be this mustache man.